Hardware versus software. What is a computer? A computer is an electronic device capable of processing and storing data according to a set of instructions. It is designed to perform a wide range of tasks and calculations, from simple to complex, with high speed and accuracy. Computers are programmable, meaning they can execute various software applications and perform specific operations based on sets of instructions. Through programming, developers can harness the power of computers to manipulate data, perform complex calculations, facilitate communication between users, and process multimedia content. A computer typically consists of hardware components that work together with software, such as the operating system necessary to manage resources, provide a user interface, and enable software execution. Computers come in various forms, from desktop computers to laptops, tablets, smartphones, and embedded systems. These are also computers, so-called single-board computers, SBCs. What is hardware? Hardware refers to the physical components of a computer system that can be seen and touched. It encompasses all the tangible parts that make up computer or electronic device. Hardware can be categorized into several types. Processors or CPU. The processor, also known as a central processing unit, CPU, is like the brain of the computer. It performs all the calculations and executes instructions necessary for the computer to function. It handles tasks such as running programs and managing data. Processors have cores. CPU cores are the pathways made up of millions of microscopic transistors within a processor that help to make it work. For anyone interested in multitasking, you'll need at least two cores to get the job done properly. Cores, individual processing units and threads, virtual cores, allows a processor to handle multiple tasks simultaneously. Processor speed, also known as clock speed, refers to the frequency at which a computer processor performs instructions and carries out calculations. It is measured in Hertz, with higher values indicating faster processing capabilities. Processor speed is determined by the clock rate, which represents the number of cycles the processor can execute per second. Each cycle represents one basic operation or instruction. For example, a processor with a clock speed of 3.0 GHz can perform 3 billion cycles per second. Graphics card, GPU. The graphics card is responsible for rendering and displaying images, videos, and games on your computer screen. It has its own dedicated memory, which helps process and store visual data efficiently. GPU stands for Graphics Processing Unit. It is a specialized electronic circuit or chip that is designed to accelerate the creation and rendering of images, videos, and animations. GPUs are primarily used in conjunction with CPUs, central processing units, to handle computationally intensive tasks related to graphics and visual processing. Originally, GPUs were primarily used for rendering graphics in video games and other graphical applications. However, their capabilities have expanded to various other fields such as scientific simulations, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and cryptocurrency mining. It's worth noting that GPUs are distinct from integrated graphics processors, IGPs, commonly found in CPUs. Integrated graphics processors are typically less powerful and share system memory with the CPU whereas dedicated GPUs have their own dedicated memory and are designed specifically for high-performance graphics processing. Hard disk. The term hard drive is actually short for hard disk drive. One can encounter any of the terms hard disk, hard disk drive, or hard drive. The hard disk is where the computer stores its long-term data 
including the operating system, applications, and files. The storage capacity is measured in gigabytes. SSD hard disk, or hard drive, provides faster data access compared to traditional hard drives. Data is stored in the computer's memory and storage devices. The hard drive, or SSD, retains data even when the power is off, making it suitable for long-term storage. Unlike traditional hard disk drives, HDDs, which use mechanical spinning disks to store data, SSDs employ solid-state memory technology to store and retrieve data quickly. SSDs consist of flash memory chips that retain data even when power is removed. These memory chips are similar to those found in USB flash drives or memory cards used in digital cameras. The absence of moving parts in SSDs offers several advantages over HDDs, including faster performance, enhanced durability, and energy efficiency. Motherboard The motherboard is the main circuit board that connects and allows communication between the various hardware components of the computer. It houses essential components such as the CPU, RAM slots, expansion slots, and connectors for the peripherals. Additional devices that can be connected to a computer, such as external hard drives, web cameras, microphones, and speakers. It provides pathways for data transfer and power distribution, ensuring proper communication and coordination between various parts of the computer. RAM, random access memory. RAM is the computer's short-term memory, where it stores data that the processor needs to access quickly. Think of it as a workspace for the CPU. RAM temporarily stores data that the CPU can access quickly. On the other hand, the hard disk drive, HDD, or solid state drive, SSD, provides long-term storage for files, programs, and the operating system. RAM allows quick access to data that is actively being used by the CPU. However, once the computer is turned off, the data stored in RAM is lost. Networking components. These include network interface cards, NICs, or wireless adapters, routers, switches, and modems, allowing the computer to connect to networks and the internet. A network interface card, NIC, also known as a network adapter or network card, is a hardware component that enables the computer to connect to a computer network. It converts digital data from the computer into a format suitable for transmission over the network and vice versa. The NIC is responsible for implementing the protocols and standards necessary for network communication such as Ethernet, Wi-Fi, and other networking technologies. Some NICs are integrated directly into the computer's motherboard, while others are add-on expansion cards that can be inserted into an available expansion slot. The NIC typically has a physical connector, such as an Ethernet port or a wireless antenna, that allows the computer to connect to the network infrastructure. The connector type depends on the network technology being used. Once connected to the network, the NIC enables the computer to communicate with other devices on the network, such as other computers, servers, printers. It allows the computer to access shared resources, browse the internet, send and receive emails, and participate in various network-based applications. Wireless adapters. A wireless adapter, also known as a wireless network interface controller, or wireless NIC, is a hardware device that enables a computer or device to connect to a wireless network, such as Wi-Fi, eliminating the need for physical cables. Routers. A router serves as a gateway, connecting multiple devices within a local area network. LAN, or connecting a LAN to the internet. It typically has multiple ports to connect devices like computers, 
smartphones, printers, and more. The primary function of a router is to route data between different networks. When data is sent from one device to another within a network or across networks, the router examines the destination address of the data and determines the most efficient path for it to reach its destination. It makes decisions based on routing tables and network protocols to ensure the data is delivered correctly. Routers often use NAT, Network Address Translation, to translate private IP addresses used within a local network to a public IP address assigned by the Internet Service Providers, or ISP. This allows devices within the net private network to access the Internet using a single public IP address. Many routers include built-in firewall functionality that helps protect the network from unauthorized access and potential threats. Other. There are other hardware components necessary to work with a computer. For example, input and output devices are necessary to communicate with the computer. Examples include keyboards, mice, monitors, printers, scanners, speakers, and other devices used to interact with the computer or receive output. Thank you for listening. The slides for this presentation are available for download so you can read them if you need to. Until next time.